Ahoy oi everyone, it is Craig back at Magic Kingdom with another Disney Dining Review. Before I get started, I want to remind you this is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content and you want to support us, please consider booking your next vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get to work with one of the awesome Dreams Unlimited Travel agents. So, head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free no obligation quote. Now, why am I at Magic Kingdom for more food today? Am I not tired? of all of the options that are here? No, I am not. And actually, the reason I am here today is because I was asked if I could come over and try a specific menu item at Columbia Harbor House. And I am going to fulfill that request today because that's what I do. If you tell me where to go, I will go there and I will try what you want me to have. You know, a lot of quick service, that is. With table service, has to be a specific menu item, and I've got a couple of those on my list too, but today, Columbia Harbor House. I'm not going to tell you what the item is yet. I'll explain that when I'm sitting down, but I'm feeling crazy, so I'm not just having one thing at Columbia Harbor House today. I'm having two. That's right. I'm so excited. I'm stumbling over my words. So my mobile order has been placed. I'm going to go ahead and definitely let them know I'm here, so hopefully I can get my food quickly because I'm hungry. And then we will get to all of those good eats. I have my food in front of me, so now it's time for me to tell you what I actually ordered. So two things. The first thing that I got, it's my uh, appetizer of sorts, is the soup. It's the spoon for one more. It is $7.49 and it is New England clam chowder served in a sourdough bowl. and. It is one of the 50th anniversary menu items, so that's even better. And then also another one of the 50th anniversary menu items that I did get uh, a little bit on the lighter side. It's the Hail to the Chief Salad, and this is $11.99. It has mixed greens, apples, cheddar cheese, apple vinaigrette, and then topped with, uh, topped with dried cranberries as well as chicken strips. So. I think I need to get started on my appetizer first, that New England clam chowder. And to be quite honest, I'm not typically a fan of any clam chowders, but this is the specific menu item that was requested that I, I order. So that's why I'm having it. And maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Really enjoy it. I'm touching the, the sourdough bowl right now and it's really soft. So uh, at least, at the very least, I'm gonna have a very nice piece of bread to eat with my soup and salad. So, first bite. I am actually pretty impressed with the clam chowder. It has obviously like a very heavy seafood smell to it. it it's radiating with that, that clam smell. And I was thinking that that wasn't going to be a good thing, but ultimately it's uh, pretty well balanced. It's it's creamy, it's seasoned uh, very well, you know, it's just a, it's not overly salty, it's just that right balance. I'm definitely noticing that uh, there's some, probably not fresh herbs in there, but uh, it's, it's got a little bit of an earthy flavor to it. And then also throw on like the nice vegetables in there, some carrots, potatoes. It's a good, good chowder. Moving on to the Hail to the Chief salad. Again, this is $11.99 mixed greens, apples, dried cranberries, uh, cheddar cheese, chicken strips, apple vinaigrette. And I usually love salads that have any sort of vinaigrette with apples and cranberries. It makes me feel like it's a, it's a good meal to have like in the fall time in autumn. And uh, yeah, so the only thing that looks disappointing about this on the, you know, on the onset before I start eating it is it looks like these are the uh, like the kids menu, little chicken tenders on there. So like little hand breaded nuggets, better than, you know, throwing McDonald's nuggets on there or anything. But I don't know, I kind of wish it would have like a piece of grilled chicken on it instead. Something maybe a little bit more healthy to go with a healthy salad. But let's uh, start with the actual salad itself before I have the chicken tenders with it. The mixed greens are really fresh, uh, crisp, and I am in love with the apple vinaigrette on this mixed with the apples, the cranberries. It is this sweet and savory dance that's happening in my mouth. Very, very pleasant. I like it a lot. There's also a lot of onions on here, and I didn't realize that, but uh, not, not a problem. 
I love onions, but it took me by surprise here. So now for a piece with, I guess I'm gonna go in on the whole little chicken tender nugget thing here. So here we go. It's not bad. I do wish that it was grilled chicken instead of the deep fried chicken tenders, just like I said before I took the bite, but uh, it, still, it still works out really well. I don't even think I need the chicken with this salad. I'd be happy just having it with all the other toppings, the apples, the onions, the cranberries. It would be fine on its own like that. But uh, I have a lot of salad to eat. I still have a, I have a little bit of soup to eat as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish all the food in front of me, and then I'll let you know what I think afterwards. I am all wrapped up with my meal at Columbia Harbor House, and I'm actually, uh, I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I'm pleasantly surprised. It is one of the better meals I've had at Magic Kingdom as of recently, because I've had a lot of not great stuff, especially for like the 50th anniversary menus as well too. So it's been more misses than hits, but this one, this one was very nice. Just to recap one more time, I had the New England clam chowder in the sourdough bread bowl being called spoon for one more and that was $7.49 and then I also had the hail to the chief salad that was $11.99 and was it was mixed greens with apples and cheddar cheese and onions dried cranberries apple vinaigrette and chicken strips and I, I thought the salad was nice and hearty you know it could have it could have been fine without the protein from the chicken on there, but I'm I'm happy that it was on there too. So at least then I I did feel even more full with it. Uh, I will say though, I, I am actually happy looking back at it. I made the comment about like, oh, the chicken strips, you know, it's like the little kids bite-sized ones. Uh, then I, 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 at first I was kind of like, eh, you know, I wish they were, they were bigger so that way it wasn't so much breading with it, but then as I ate it, I was like, okay, this actually works out well. And then I looked at the picture of the menu later on and found out that like on that, it shows full size strips. And then that would have just added another extra complication with having to cut all of the chicken and stuff. So I'm, I'm happy the way it was served. And I, the only other complaint I have with it, it, was, uh, it wasn't mixed well. I don't think they mixed it at all. They just kind of threw it in the bowl, then threw all the toppings on top. And because the bowl is so small, it was very uh, it was very tough to actually mix it well. And so I feel like I had a lot of dry mixed greens at the start of it with very little dressing. And then it was like super dressing heavy at the end once I had room to actually mix it all around. So maybe if they would just like pre-mix it, that would be a lot better. But overall, it's still something I would get again, especially if I wanted a, a lighter option. For sure, I would get it again. And now on to that that clam chowder in the bread bowl. I uh, for the soup portion, I really liked it. You know, as I said, I'm not always huge about clam chowder. I thought this one was really nice, and I I, I felt like I had trouble in the moment actually describing it. And I probably sound ridiculous, but I, it just I was I was trying to figure it all out. But like I'm pretty sure the the herb that was in there that was giving. Uh, a lot of the flavor off, as I described, is earthy. I'm not quite sure why, but pretty sure that was a lot of thyme in there. I noticed a little bits of thyme leaves in there. Like I said, it was salted really well without being overly salty. It was, it was a nice chowder. It, it was really good, and and definitely added that extra hardiness with the potatoes in there specifically. So uh, no complaints on that. I I wish they gave me even more. I would maybe shy away from the bread bowl because I feel like they were more focused on the bread than the soup because of that, but it, it was still good. Just maybe with the bread bowl, they need to dig a little deeper and add a little bit more room for the soup itself since that was, that was pretty tasty. For the bread bowl, I had to go down a little bit of a, a research hole, if you will. Uh, I read the menu and it said sourdough. And I even said it was a sourdough bread bowl. And then I think as I was starting to eat the soup, I might have mentioned like, oh, how soft it is. And that kind of threw up a red flag in my mind that I didn't think about for a bit. And then it kind of like dawned on me, like sourdough bread bowls are known for being, you know, chewy on the outside and light and fluffy on the inside. And that's not what this was at all. It was, uh, the outside was extremely soft and the inside was was flaky like a roll. And 
I'm, you know, I've had a lot of sourdough in my days, but this was not like any of the other ones. And so first I read about other people's experiences, saw, saw other photos of it, and you know, it looked like before it was a sourdough bread bowl that was kind of dyed in the, into the color that it is. Um, however, with mine, I'm pretty sure this was just like a pumpernickel loaf and I'm not like a thousand percent on his ob I'm not a thousand percent sure on that. I don't know what word I was looking for, but whatever word I was, it just completely fell out of my head. But anyways, I went to the front counter and I asked like, can you please confirm for me this is sourdough? And they said, yep, it absolutely is. But I mean, if you've ever had like a spinach dip at a party that's in a pumpernickel loaf, this was the exact same thing. And so then the research kept going with it. I found out that, you know, pumpernickel is made with a sourdough starter and then rye, whereas the, with sourdough, it's just the, you know, so it, it, just two different breads. But the similarity in that the pumpernickel has the, the sourdough starter in it as well too. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but it, I mean, it tasted a thousand percent like pumpernickel. It had that sweetness to it with that with that rye taste as well too. Uh, so I, I don't know what's actually going on with that, but it worked. It worked for what it is, but I also like sourdough. So I would have loved to have a sourdough bread bowl, but I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll figure it out someday, but please, please tell me if I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. I, I guess that's more for the people watching this, not listening to it. Uh, you, you'll be able to actually visually see, but please confirm if I'm uh, that I'm not crazy in this and that that was not sourdough based on all appearances or if you've had it and said yeah that's also not sourdough but I don't know I'm gonna stop worrying about this because I'm sure I'm just gonna come out sounding ridiculous because of all of it so that's gonna do it for this review of those two items at Columbia Harbor House I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave comments questions and video suggestions in the comment section below. Tell me where you want me to go eat. I will make it there eventually. And if you want to support us even more, of course, you can book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. Get your free no obligation quote today at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. But that's it for me here at Magic Kingdom. I'll see you again real soon with another Disney dining review. Take care. Bye-bye.